Good morning. I'm Grace Terry. Think you're good to go in there. I'm Grace Terry for G. i sure. And today we are chopping corn. I am in the O truck. It is a 1997 Volvo. And each truck has one of these fancy radios, which is what you just heard earlier. And I just took off the parking brake, so we're gonna head out. I'm already loaded with my first load of corn. We call it silage when it's all chopped up. And I am waiting to dump at the pile. Because this bunker is pretty small, each truck has to wait a little bit until the packers, the guys in the tractors, are ready for them to dump their load out. On the pile, we have a John Deere tractor and a Fent tractor. Here's my truck. The letter on this truck is O. Each one of our trucks has a different letter so that we are able to um, differentiate the trucks. Once the bunker is filled with feed, we're gonna cover it with plastic and a bunch of tires to make it look just like this bunker. This is to preserve the feed throughout the winter so that way we can feed the cows with it all year long. Sometimes when the feed is too heavy, the tractor spins because the feed is also wet and slippery. So he has to come back down and start over. There's a cinder block made out of concrete on the back of this tractor. It just adds weight so that the machine packs better. It's very cold this morning. When I started work at seven, it was like 39 degrees. Now it's like probably like 42. But I'm gonna climb up into the bed of this truck and show you guys what the feed looks like up close. So here's the corn that was just chopped. So you can see that we took the whole stalk and also the corn cobs on the stalk. You can see the little tiny pieces of corn in it, the yellow pieces. And then it's just really nice cow feed in the winter. So this is a pretty big truck, one of our bigger ones, so it can hold a lot of feed. I don't really know how much feed, but she's pretty heavy. That truck's about to get ready to dump, so let's go check it out. First he'll open his tailgate, and then he'll dump it out. And that truck is a web truck, so we have two types. We have webs, or we have dumps. The web one has a conveyor belt along the bottom that pushes the feed out. For the dump truck, the whole entire bed will lift up, and they'll raise the dump. He slowly moves forward as he's dumping so that it doesn't create such a big pile that the tractors have a hard time pushing it up. Up close, you can see this fence is pretty big.
now he's empty, so he's gonna shut his tailgate and go for another load. And then next up will be the B truck, and then it'll be the O's turn. And then there'll be that truck, which I think that's the C truck. I can't really see the ladder from here, but that's usually what he looks like. I go back in the truck because I was getting too cold out there. Um, and even though my truck heater doesn't work that well, it's a little warmer than it is outside because there's no wind. Let's talk a little bit about my truck, the O. As I said earlier, it's a 1997 Volvo and it's an automatic, so I have my gear shifter here. Whenever I drive, I just put it in drive. If you want to go into like manual mode, you can click down through the gears and then I have reverse. Um, I have my tarp right here, so whenever we are leaving the fields at the full load on the roads, we have to have our tarp closed so that the feed doesn't fly out the back while we're driving on the road. I have my tailgate up and down, and then this is a web truck, so I have a conveyor belt along the bottom, so I have that. And then I have my radio that does not work, so I usually have my JBL speaker with me if I want to listen to music. Okay, so coming by, that's an air seeder with a vent tractor. We use that puppy to plant cover crops into the field after the corn is chopped off. And the cover crops are so awesome. We don't do any till at our farm. We just use all cover crops during the winter. As you can see, past our burn pile junkie area. The field's all green, so that field was planted with the cover crops. It's um, actually rye that was planted. And then in the spring, we'll cut it off or spray it, kill it, and plant the new corn. The cover crops are super good for the soil. They replenish it with nutrients that it lost during the growing season. And it also turns carbon dioxide from the air into oxygen. So they're really good for the environment and they prevent soil runoff whenever it rains a lot. Right now, I am dumping the feed. Just got to the field. First step is to find the chopper. Pro tip, the chopper is usually where the corn is.
gave the honk, so that truck is now full. So now it's my turn. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.